mastiffs, whether that is the South African mastiff or the Kana Corso. Um, I know with the increased crime worldwide, people have the need for guard dogs. And in case of the, the mastiffs, I just want to say, be careful what you wish for. Um, these dogs were bred to work somewhat autonomously. Um, they have a mind on their own at times. And the thing with mastiffs is the first year to year and a half, they're okay. They're nice. You get them socialized with people, you know, family, friends come over, the dog is fine with them. And then he's not. Because around a year, year and a half, somewhere in between there, they flip a switch. They get way more serious and all of a sudden, if the person does not live in the house, it's now the enemy. And it takes a lot of people by surprise. So make sure that when you choose to have a Kana Corso or a Bulbul, make sure that you have one, the skill set required to handle a dog like that. If not, acquire it. You know, get help from somebody that can teach you how to handle the dog, how to raise this dog properly. And make sure you're physically capable of, of handling the dog. Because it happens all the time. People, because they're fairly friendly and, and easygoing as puppies, people oftentimes don't put too much emphasis on training them when they're small. And then they cross a year into the year and a half and then they get way more serious and, and you know, growl at people that they were originally fine with. And then at times when the owner wants to correct the dog now, some of them start growling at the owner as well. And it is then the help is sought when there already is a big, big problem. And that is just plain wrong. If you get a powerful breed like this, you want to start training early. You want to start right away. You want the dog to understand that there's rules to living with you that, you know, must be adhered to. Not wait until there is a problem and then try to fix it, you know. That is very reactive and that gets you nowhere with a breed like a Kanakoso, for instance. Right? Um, so just make sure, I'm not saying don't get one, I'm just simply saying make sure you take all that in consideration. And if you don't have the skill set yourself yet, get somebody who does to help you with a dog. Okay? That is it. Bye.